Damn, Rod, come on! What's the matter with you? There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! You think when you're young that you have all this time, you have no time. There's, there, there's no time. I mean, one of, the, one of the quotes on the wall in the gym in there is, um, you know, there is no tomorrow from, from, from Rocky Three. You know, there is no tomorrow. Fuck that shit. Let's, let's, let's get all this shit done today. <sighs> Maybe I should just quit and go back to making noodles. Quit. Don't quit. Noodles, don't noodles. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. There's a saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. You're not afraid of failing. You're afraid of what other people will think of you if you fail. But if you're afraid of that, Imagine what they think of you when you aren't even trying. Oh yeah, they aren't. A friendly reminder that in three generations, everyone who knew us will be dead, including the people whose opinions stopped you from doing what you wanted all along. Imagine that someone you know achieves every dream and hits every goal they have. Years later, they get old and die. Two years after that, how much do you care? About as much as everyone else will if you accomplish your goals and dreams. Do it for you. There'll be times where you succeed and there are times that you fail. So waste, wasting your time doubting whether you're going to be successful or not is pointless. It is. And you just put one foot in front of the other. You control what you can't control. And then you see what the outcome is. Right? If you win, great. You're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey over again. If you lose, it sucks. But you're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey all over again anyway. Right? So it's really pointless to sit here and debate or have doubt or this, that, and the other. You train as hard as you can. You step out there and you let it flow. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hey, this a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on a daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. Greatness is not meant for a few chosen people. It's, it's meant for those who persistently pursue their dreams every day and make that choice when they wake up. So um, just a mentality, really. Aspirations uh, come from people that do amazing things, but they're really ordinary people just waking up every day doing it, um, doing the little things that other people aren't doing. So Start walking. You have to start moving forward in order to improve your vision, improve your perspective, change your perspective, make some kind of progress. And worst case scenario, you figure out that you walked the wrong direction. Okay, now you can go walk in the other direction. And that's, that's gonna be fine. But standing there lost and not doing anything is just waiting to die, waiting to starve to death. Don't let that happen. Imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they said. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? What's your book look like? Mm. What does your fucking book look like? Like, your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? If the ending to my book can be so amazing because of all that was done, not the money, all that was accomplished, the first to do, the man that did this, he caused the merger between this. Because of his commitment and growth to this, the communities were then given this, made education this, changed the way the schooling was blah, 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 gave books, gave computers, gave the, all of the things that can be associated with you and your existence become a part of the chapters in your book. So my drive is about my book. My wife told me this great expression, to get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. 
in life, folks. You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. You love this game. I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession is going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. I'm going to bet on me. I'm going to believe in me because I know what I got inside me. I'm going to bet on me regardless of what you think. I'm going to be there for me regardless if you there or not. I see me, I know what I'm capable of, I know my shortcomings, I know what I would do under pressure, I know what I won't do under pressure. I've introduced myself to me probably over two decades ago and I know me. And I'd be darned if I'm not gonna bet on me. And my personal question to you is why not you? Why not you? I wish I could say that to each of you individually. Why not see what kind of person you can become? Why not see what kind of influence you can have? Why not see how many people you can rescue from oblivion? You've got to stay here till you go. I mean, what else are you gonna do? The quote goes like this. One day, or day one. One day, or day one.